last and final vlogmas of 2020. I'm wearing this shirt today to work because I feel like it's fitting. It says Mary whatever with Grumpy Cat. That's how I feel about Christmas this year, not gonna lie. But um, I'm gonna go run some last minute errands so that I don't have to do it tomorrow because tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then I'm gonna go to work. But if you guys enjoy this vlog, give it a thumbs up, you know, subscribe and love you. Hi guys, excuse my messy bathroom, but this is the outfit of the day and Merry Christmas Eve. I got this sweater off of Amazon for like 20 something dollars. It's so cozy and it comes in a bunch of different colors. I'll link it in the description box below for you guys. I absolutely love it. I've been wanting a sweater like this. I'm just wearing it with leggings and some boots. We are going to my parents' house in like a half hour and we're gonna open some presents there and then we're going downtown. We have a reservation at one of the like indoor tents that they have down there. It's like a Asian slash American type cuisine. It's gonna be really, really good and go see the tree and stuff. So it's gonna be fun. I'll take you guys with me. I also wanted to share with you guys this perfume that I'm wearing today. This is by Delcier. I believe that's how you say it. Excuse me. But um, it's this has scents of imagine pear, pink pepper, and licorice, and it's called Floriental Vanilla. I absolutely love this. If you guys like this scent, Black Opium by YSL, you will adore this. I'm wearing it today, and it smells so good. <laughs> we already ate half of it. <laughs> Where's your collar? Oh, wow. Oh, right. Mess. Let me show you the spoiled <laughs> girl's presents. Yeah. <laughs> Don't unbalance that <laughs> Table's not ready, so we can carry out some beer. <laughs> Alright, open. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, oh yeah. Copyright. So we just left his house. Now we're going to my aunt's house. And it's snowing. Actually, a lot. Michigan. It's cute. We're gonna go eat twice. We just ate lobster and ham and a bunch of food. And he, he's still hungry. Shocker. So I just got back from a little Meyer run. I'm really upset because I feel like I always forget something or do something wrong when I go to Meyer, and I forgot. I bought two things of mac and cheese and I forgot one at the store. It's not my car. I paid for it. It was only a dollar. I don't care about that, but I wanted to eat it. But anyways, I'm making this cauliflower chicken strips, which I'm excited to try. And I just got this hoodie from Lululemon from my boyfriend yesterday. I love it. It's light pink. I don't know if you guys can tell. But it's a couple days after Christmas now. I wanted to continue this vlogmas throughout like New Year's and stuff, so I didn't post it yet, but you guys will see this after the New Year, which I hope you guys all have a great New Year's Eve. Um, I went to the gym, so that's why I look crazy, and I'm just gonna have some lunch, 
work on some stuff. I cleaned up the whole house. I needed it after the holidays. And I'm just like getting back into like a normal routine. I'm gonna do my skincare in a little bit, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Just as well. cleaned my bathroom. It looks so much better. This still looks cluttered, but like I need all this shit, okay? Alright, so like I've been telling you guys, my ring light is still broken, so we're just gonna do this in shitty lighting. So I'm just gonna show you what I do at night for my skincare. So I already exfoliated my skin actually this morning and I haven't put any makeup on or anything. So I just used this Modier exfoliant, which I love. And then I usually, if my skin's like really dirty and makeup-y, I, well, I always use this cleanser pretty much, but it, especially if my skin is like really, really makeup-y, I'll use this cleanser to make sure that everything's out. This is also by Modier. I love these two together. So then I will usually do a face mask, which today we're going to be doing the Cell Proof Infusion Mask. And so you usually I just take six pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you don't want to put it into your skin. You just want to do like slow circular motions and kind of put it on the skin because it's like a foaming mask. So you're going to feel it like bubble up. Like that. It smells really good. And then I forget how long you leave this on. Five minutes. So this is a really good moisturizing mask and I love to pair it with that exfoliator and the cleanser. So as you can see, it's already starting to bubble up and it just really cleans your skin. After I do this mask, sometimes I will do another like hydrating mask, which let's see, I have so much skincare, but I think I'm gonna show you guys my, ow. After I do this mask to kind of like clean out my skin, We're gonna go into my skincare fridge and I think I'm just going to use I think we're gonna use this one today. So this so this is a anti-aging mask and I keep it in here because it keeps it really cooling. So after the five minutes of the mask on my face, I'm gonna use this and then we're gonna use a moisturizer. And I'm also gonna grab it's a whole process, guys. We're gonna grab this El Elginist, I think that's how you say it. If this will focus. This is an eye cream and this works really, really well. I have a bunch of sheet masks in here. And then this is also the moisturizer that we're gonna be using. I've talked about this a ton of times. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I a lot of times in my stories I show you like all about these products and stuff because these are the products that really changed my skin. So you guys can use my code right here if you want money off your first purchase. That's up to you. Don't feel obligated to. I'm just sharing products that I generally love with you guys. And another really good skincare brand is this Peter Thomas Roth that I'm also using. I have a bunch of these little tiny masks. They came in a set a couple years ago. I'm sure you can still find gift sets at like Sephora and stuff. But these work really, really well. So we're going to take these and we're going to go to the bathroom. Okay guys, so I just took off that foaming mask with some warm water and now I'm going to use this brush and dip into this gel mask. Put that all over my face and I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes. This feels so good. If you guys don't have a skincare fridge, I will link mine down below for you guys. It's literally the best investment ever. I believe mine was only like $50 off of Amazon and it works so good. I just keep it in my office and I love it. I'm going to put this definitely on my forehead it's anti-aging and those wrinkles got to go. I'm going to okay. leave that on for 10 minutes and then we're going to do the rest. Okay guys, my face looks my face looks a little bit red just because I just like scrubbed off that face mask. But it feels like my face feels really, really tight, which is good. You want that anti-aging mask to make your skin feel very tight. So now I'm going to take the Modier Cell Proof Moisturizer. And I'm just going to do two pumps. There we go. I use this a lot, so good thing I have backup. And then I'm going to put this into my skin. It's super creamy, and it smells like very fresh, like citrusy, like springtime morning. Then I'm going to put that on my neck as well. Then we're going to take that eye cream and obviously put that 
under my eyes, not too close. You don't want it in your eye. But all around that eye area, like where you would put concealer under your eye. And push that in to the skin. And then we're just gonna leave that on. I'm going to make some dinner. We're having a healthy dinner. It feels good because like these days between um, Christmas and a New Year's Eve, which New Year's Eve is tomorrow, it just feels like weird, like you're lazy. Uh, I don't know if you guys drink, but like we drink, so like we we're partying for like the holidays and everything. And it just feels good to like relax. We went to the gym the last couple days. I've been doing skincare. We're eating healthy. Tomorrow obviously is New Year's Eve, so we're gonna get off of that track a little bit. But just like you need some kind of normalcy and like to get back into things between those days. I just feel like it's such a weird time between Christmas and New Year's. But anyways, I'm going to make some dinner, finish planning some stuff. Comet is in his favorite spot, staring at his feeder, waiting for it. Comet, you have issues, bro. But yeah, also I still have my tree up. I don't know, I just don't wanna take it down yet. It's just so massive and I also had to order like a bag that you can fit this big of a tree in oh and this is let me turn on the light so you guys can see this is the table that my mom got me so it has like these little legs that you just push so you can like eat and it fits like right under the couch like that and it's marble it matches perfect it matches these little coasters that i have i love it i think it's so cute it's like the perfect little size just so like put your drinks on you can put it like on the side here like it looks so cute i love it and then it, like everything just it's coming together i also want to show you guys some of the new clothes i got this is actually what i'm wearing on new year's eve this is from express it was normally 80 dollars, then it was marked down to 70 and i got it for 18. i'm not like in love with it oh hi comment i'm not like in love with it but there wasn't many options excuse me please i'm trying to show the people my clothes comment next for mexico this coming month I got this dress it's so beautiful it's from Beachy Dolls have a few other things to show you guys from there has this little cutout in the back and I just think this is like perfect for Tulum I think it's so cute and all their stuff is such good quality it's definitely like my new favorite online store Next, I have this top it has like the roughly detail and it's like this sheer material it has a little tie in the back so it's open by the neck I thought it was like a red color that's what it looked like online but it's actually brown which is fine don't really have anything brown, but this is cute. I like it with the polka dots. Then I got this powder blue maxi dress. It's so pretty. It has like this runched up detail here and it's off the shoulder like that. This is also from Vichy Dolls and I'm obsessed with this color. Lastly, I got this gorgeous green polka dot romper. It has like this roughly detailing on the bottom. It ties around the waist and it's got the same roughly detail around the cuffs and I just think this is so cute. It's more of like a like a St. Patrick's Day color green, not so much like an emerald green that the camera's picking up, but I absolutely love it. I will have all this linked down below for you guys if you guys want to check it out. I love Vichy Dolls. They're such good quality. It's a little bit more pricey. Like everything is like in the $60 range, but like you get what you pay for. It's really, really good quality. <laughs> New Year's Eve, I'm ready makeup and hair wise, but not my outfit, obviously. We're going to a house party tonight. I hope you guys all have a safe and fun New Year's Eve. Even if you're staying home or going out with close friends or to a house party with close friends like I am. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog probably tomorrow, but I'm not gonna vlog while I'm there just because it's gonna be chaotic and I don't know if a lot of people want to be on camera. Everyone's just enjoying their time. But I love you guys. Like I said, I hope you all have a great New Year's Eve. I'll show you guys my outfit when I do put it on. I show you guys the shirt. But, like, I'm not wearing heels or anything because, like I said, it's just a house party. Also, I'm very sad that the lighting has sucked. I just tried fixing my ring light and it's still broken. So I have another one coming in the mail. That's when you guys will see more videos and better lighting and more Instagram pictures because I can't do anything without a ring light. The lighting just sucks. But... I'm trying, a girl is trying. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. 
So I'm gonna end it here. It's New Year's Day. I made my grandma's chili cheese dip and we're watching Twilight Zone marathons. That's what we always did with her. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys soon.